hunger and satiety understanding and optimizing your body's hunger systems we all get hungry it is an important part of how the body works and keeps us alive and a reminder to eat and provide your body with essential nutrients but what does it really mean are you in the driver's seat or is hunger dictating your schedule food decisions and even your mood feeling hungry when you're trying to focus can be inconvenient or annoying but you have more control over your body than you might think understanding how all your hormones and neural signals combine to generate hunger or satiety can help you put hunger in the back seat and take full control of your life what is hunger many people envision hunger as a measure of how much fuel they have left like running out of gas in your car or your phone being low on battery in reality there are dozens of various signals that add up to a perception of hunger or fullness the system is more complex than just being empty or full with an unhealthy diet you may actually feel more hungry despite eating how to create hunger hormones that stimulate hunger include ghrelin cortisol insulin and others when these are high it can signal that your body needs more food and generates a feeling of hunger other hormones like leptin peptide yy glucocorticoid glucagon glucagon like peptide 1 pancreatic polypeptide are produced when digesting certain foods and can replace hunger with a feeling of satiety elevated ketone levels can also lower ghrelin and reduce perceived hunger these chemicals in our blood stream are only part of the puzzle physical signals like receptors for how stretched your stomach is will also contribute to appetite. Hunger can also be emotional or habitual, coming from high stress, boredom, or daily routines. Hunger can even come from external triggers outside your body. Pavlov's experiment with dogs is a famous example of classical conditioning. After ringing a bell at the same time as presenting food, the dogs quickly become trained to salivate. and expect food simply at the sound of the bell the human brain is only slightly more sophisticated and equally trainable advertisements habits or a small mention of a food can cause us to be hungry or crave something unrelated to physical need for food especially after decades of conditioning and habits You don't need to memorize this entire list but it is important to realize the complexity of chemical and neural pathways behind the scenes that ultimately determines whether you are hungry or full. Bugs and vulnerabilities. Hunger and fullness cues evolved so you could eat the right foods in the right amounts to keep your body functioning optimally when food was scarce. Your ancestors didn't have a refrigerator stocked with foods or restaurants and food delivery just a minute away. Food was often hard to get and finding your next meal may have required hours or even days. A complex assortment of hormones served as detailed food sensors in a time before tracking or apps or calorie counting was there. Since then, the world has changed significantly. while our bodies and the underlying operating system haven't our well tuned hunger systems are starting to fall apart when exposed to strange new foods most people experience a few common issues hunger feels more urgent than it needs to be low quality food don't make us full for long higher stress causes cravings and emotional hunger ads and habits condition us to eat certain foods Food is now readily available. If you skip a meal, nothing really bad will happen and you can quickly get more food later. 
Once your body is in a good condition, you should be able to decide when to eat and when not to eat and function smoothly in either case. However, it doesn't always feel like that. Being hungry feels like a loud alarm going off rather than a simple notification that can be dismissed. In the convenient, highly processed food environment we live in, the hunger signals that initially worked well may now be working against you. You may find yourself feeding more than your body needs but still feeling hungry even a few after even a few hours after you just ate from hunger to satiety Now that we finally know all the chemicals and mechanisms involved we can use science to fix these problems rather than be mystified by hunger or let it rule our lives This likely requires changing both what you eat and how you eat it until all hormone levels are at the right balance. Then you'll feel satiated rather than constantly hungry. Just eating one salad won't fix the problem, but even just a few days of consistent practice, you should notice significant changes. Working backwards from various signaling hormones, we can derive an optimal high-quality diet and new habits to check all the necessary boxes prioritize protein at each meal protein is a superstar of satiety because it requires a lot of time to digest making your stomach feel full for hours the presence of protein in a meal stimulates the peptide yy a hormone that reduces hunger protein consumption can also suppress ghrelin which otherwise increases hunger Center your meals around a good protein source. Fish, poultry, meat, eggs, or legumes can be great sources of protein. For vegetarians, tofu, nuts, seeds, seitan, dairy products like cottage cheese or Greek yogurt can provide essential protein to your meals as well. Additional protein can be supplemented with a protein shake or protein bar. Those should not be your only sources of protein. stop avoiding dietary fat fats are very filling and satisfying when fats reach the small intestine they stimulate the cholecystinin a digestive hormone that sends a signal to your brain that you are full and satisfied certain fats like essential fatty acids are especially critical in the proper functioning of your brain when you avoid eating fat You aren't triggering this important satiety hormone and can still feel hungry. The low-fat foods are often marketed as a way to lose weight. In reality, you may feel more hungry and end it, ended up eating more. Try adding fat-containing foods like avocado, olives, olive oil, fatty fish like salmon, or tuna, nuts, and seeds to every meal to increase satiety. fill up on fiber. Your stomach lining contains receptors that when stretch signal that you're full and should stop eating. High fiber and high water foods can be an effective tool for feeling full without worrying about too many calories. High fiber foods to add to your meals could include cabbage, broccoli, lettuce, beans, raspberries, quinoa, brown rice, or chia seeds. Drinking water at meal times and eating high water Fruits and vegetables like cucumber, celery, watermelon, or apples can help fill your stomach receptors as well. Avoid high carb meals. Your body requires a specific concentration of glucose in your blood to function optimally. When it gets too high, your body quickly brings it back down using insulin. When glucose gets too low, your body increases hunger hormones to motivate motivate you to bring it back up. and you also start to get tired and conserve energy most carbohydrates except fiber are composed of sugar at a molecular level even if they taste salty and not sweet they quickly convert to sugar during digestion process and go to your blood for use when you eat a meal that contains mostly carbs like bread pasta rice sugar candy pastries and other processed foods a lot of glucose enters your bloodstream at once This high blood glucose level stimulates a high amount of insulin to urgently remove that extra sugar 
which would be toxic toxic otherwise with an excess of insulin the blood sugar concentration drops again now with high insulin low glucose your body is back to feeling hungry despite having just recently eaten the process is like a roller coaster with a big rise falling by an equally steep drop if you crave food shortly after finishing a meal or find it hard to focus during the day you might not be balancing your blood sugar correctly and eating too much sugar properly balance your plate to avoid riding this unpleasant blood sugar roller coaster avoid eating meals that are predominantly sugar or high in carbohydrates instead eat a good source of protein fiber and fat with each meal more specifically eat those before eating any carbs or sugar these components slow down the digestion of food so the glucose from the meal is delivered more evenly and gradually throughout the day rather than a one big spike when you include adequate protein fat and fiber in the meal you'll trigger most of the necessary hormone satiety cues you'll suppress grinding levels while stimulating fullness hormones like cck pyy and glp within 20 to 30 minutes of eating these different hormones are your body's way of measuring the meal to decide if it got the nutrients it wanted or if it still needs to be hungry eating only balanced balanced meal will help properly dismiss your feelings of hunger and not have it return immediately it is important to check all these requirements at the same meal a high amount of protein some healthy fats a good amount of fiber and minimal sugar and carbs avoiding bad habits that disrupt hunger in addition to the actual food and amount of nutrients in them how you eat is also significant you're not just a simple machine that converts these food into simple calorie count there are lots of nuances to the eating process that can be optimized don't eat too quickly It can take up to 20 to 30 minutes of these fullness signals to be created and reach your brain. Until then you could eat almost an unlimited amount without your body's built-in hunger systems regulating the meal. Take your time when eating, chew your food thoroughly and pause between bites to savor the taste and flavor of your food. Add an extra 5 chews to your food before swallowing. Or try eating with your non-dominant hand to slow you down if you're going too fast. The more time you spend chewing, the more time you give your brain to receive the, the signals necessary for satiety signals. You shouldn't need some calorie counting app to tell you how much is the correct amount to eat. If you eat slowly and mostly whole foods, your body will be tracking tracking and the measurement for you. We'll do the tracking and the measurement for you and tell you to stop very clearly when you've had the right amount. What if you don't have 20 minutes for a meal? Then you could just skip it and eat a healthy balanced meal when you have time. Counter intuitively, just eating some sugar or an imbalanced meal in a rush can result in having less energy and unhealthy glucose drop rather than satisfying your hunger and nutrition requirements. Don't eat while multitasking. Allow yourself to focus completely on your food. to increase meal satisfaction and feel satiated with less food when you eat mindlessly distracted in front of a tv or a phone or a computer you're likely to override your fullness signals and eat more than your body wants set aside time in your day for eating so you can focus on the flavors and textures of your food enjoy your meal at meal times it might sound elementary but it works in the gyroscope app there's a mindful eating meditation that you can listen to while eating to help you be extremely focused and present enjoying all the flavors and textures of a meal avoid overly processed foods eating too many processed foods like soda chips pastries or desserts can make you more hungry when foods are processed they are stripped of their of their filling nutrients like fiber and protein so you don't produce important chemicals like peptide yy to feel satisfied and stop eating even worse they're generally full of sugar and refined grains which will cause an uncontrolled glucose spike resulting in low blood sugar and high hunger within an hour 
If your response to feeling hungry is eating a cookie or a candy bar, a similarly imbalanced meal, the process can repeat over and over in an infinite loop of hunger and low productivity. The metabolic coach in Gyroscope X will warn you when your meal is heavily processed and missing important nutrients, or likely to disrupt your productivity with a drop in glucose supply. Avoid chronic stress. Habits unrelated to eating can also contribute to hunger. For instance, being constantly stressed increasing hormones like cortisol, which increases appetite and cravings. Reducing stress in your life and engaging in stress relieving techniques can play a big role in decreasing the cravings you feel throughout the day. There's no quick fix, but properly managing your sleep and practicing all the ways to improve your stress from the labs can help manage these. Frequent exercise can also help. It should be thought of as a stress reducing tool to eat more healthily rather than a calorie cancellation tool. Avoid low sleep scores. Similarly, being low on sleep also alters your hormone levels to increase appetite. Being short on sleep stimulates an increase of ghrelin and decrease in leptin, resulting in increased hunger. Taking control of your hunger. We know that just eating more food isn't necessarily going to fix your hunger. The quality and composition of the meals is key. Now that you understand how your body switches between hunger and satiety, you can be in full control of how you feel. Slowing down and being more mindful when eating is an easy first step. Remember to improve your meal quality by prioritizing protein, fat, and fiber-rich foods to help you feel more satisfied throughout the day. Just as important foods you should eat are the foods that you, you should avoid if you want to overcome constant hunger. Processed or high sugar foods contribute a lot of empty calories while ultimately making your hunger worse and resulting in nutrition deficiencies. You can practice these strategies offline or log all of your food in gyroscope for additional metrics and accountability. More than just avoiding hunger, implementing these strategies can help you achieve other long-term benefits of mindful, healthy eating, easier fat loss, reduced risk of disease, feeling more energized and productive throughout the day, and even saving money on food. Being in control of and fully understanding your hunger will help you get back in control of your schedule and moods and be a catalyst to enjoying a healthier life. Once you've optimized your meals, stabilized your blood sugar, and are no longer feeling constantly hungry, you'll be ready to continue to the next chapter in the academy. Food timing.